Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making another custom crybaby. So here she is, my blank plaster of Paris crybaby. And today I'm going to be using these. I'm not gonna show you them just yet. I'll save them as a surprise because it's gonna be super cool. So over here I have got all my paints. They're all in the brown shades and I've got my skin tones. And I'm going to just start mixing up my face color first. This is one of the base base colors I use. I add this in if I want it to be a bit darker and today I want my baby's face tone to be slightly darker even so I'm going to be using some of my brown paint which I'm using for the body in this and I'm just going to add a little bit into the facial color just to make her skin tone a little bit darker today. I have finished putting on about three layers of paint onto her face and her hands so now I'm going to get to work painting her body and can you guess who she is going to be yet guys? Mm, it's a bit of a tricky one today but leave your comments down below if you can guess what you think I am making my custom baby of today. Okay guys, now this is a, gonna be a fun part. I am using this clear tar gel, and if I just show you inside, I don't know if you guys can properly see, but this is a lovely sort of gooey kind of medium, and I'm going to use some of this to mix my paint in, and I'm gonna drizzle it over the top of my baby. Hmm, have we guessed what I'm doing yet? So I'm going to pour some of my clear tar gel into one of these little paint holders. That should be enough, I don't need too much. And then I'm going to just mix in a little amount of my dark brown paint. Now at first the paint may look a bit cloudy or a bit lighter, but as the tar gel dries, it dries um, to a transparent sheen so you won't see any of the white it will just dry as a really dark brown glossy kind of drizzle so here we go I'm mixing it all up and look how cool that looks guys oh it looks almost good enough to eat but really isn't Okay, now that I'm mixed, I've finished mixing up my paint, I'm going to start drizzling it over the top of my baby's head. So here she is, I've propped her up and I'm just going to start on the center of her head. I don't want to put too much on because otherwise it's all going to just drip right off. So I'm just going to put a little bit on top. And then I'm just gonna slowly push it over the edges so that it sort of runs down the side of her head. Now, I guess I may as well tell you who I am making. I am making a chocolate crybaby. And this that I am doing here is her chocolate sauce. So if you can imagine a nice chocolate ice cream with some lovely drizzly chocolate sauce, that's what we're busy doing here. And like I say, at the moment, the drizzle looks a little bit cloudy and a little bit light brown, but this is gonna dry completely see-through. And so it will look like a dark chocolate sauce. So I'm just gonna keep drizzling all over the baby, over her head. I'm gonna try and put some on her tummy and her arms and legs if I can. And then I will come back and tell you what I'm doing next. Right guys, I'm done. I'm going to let the baby dry for about 24 hours maybe and then I'll come back and show you. So 
so here she is guys this is 24 hours later and as you can see my clear gel has dried completely and it's just left these little drips all down the side of her head and they are completely solid so they're not going to be going anywhere and now I'm going to get to work on her face so first up I am going to fill in the whites of her eyes and I'm also giving her a little light beige colour hair just to match with all the browns but just so that it contrasts a little bit and I'm giving her some bright red lips because she needs a little pop of colour. Now I'm giving her the same colour eyes as I've used for her hair so they're just slightly lighter brown but I'm going to just add some darker bits of brown around the edges with my pens. So first of all I'm going to use my black liner to make my eyelash line. This is always a little bit tricky especially on the plaster of Paris because it's a bit bumpy but I normally go over it twice and that normally helps me straighten up the line. And then I'm going to give her three little eyelashes and I will colour those in possibly with a red pen just to give her again another little pop of colour. guys and I'm going to use my red pen also to draw on some little eyebrows. I can never get these quite even but they look okay. It's much easier using the pen than trying to paint them on as well. And this is the darker brown pen that I'm using just to put a few accents into the irises of her eye. And now I'm doing my favourite bit. I am adding in some light reflections into her eyes. Okay guys, there she is, her face is just about done. I'm just going to give her some pastel shading to her cheeks, just to rosy up her cheeks a little bit, give her a little bit more colour. And then her little face is about done and I think she looks super pretty. Perfect. Okay guys, now time for the fun bit. I'm going to empty out all these chocolate shapes and I'm going to have to choose which of them I'm going to stick onto my baby. So let's have a sort through these guys. Look, oh, we've got a little chocolate lolly with a love written on it. We've got a little chocolate maple leaf. And what else have we got? Some little milk chocolate bars here. These are so cute. I don't know what these are, but they look yum. Oh, we've got a nice little strawberry in dipping chocolate. Oh look, this, uh, someone's been at this. This is a half-eaten chocolate bar. What else can we see? Oh, this looks interesting. A little rainbow a chocolate cake with rainbow icing on the top. Very nice. What else can I find? Oh look, a little chocolate cookies bar. Oh look, this would be the one I choose. A great big chocolate slab. Yum. Okay guys, I'm getting to work. I've decided which ones I'm going to use. I love this little teddy chocolate biscuit. And so that's going to go on my baby's head. And I'm also using this little dipping chocolate dipping strawberry 
because again it's got that lovely little pop of colour just to give our little chocolate baby some colour. And then I'm going to add this little knob nibbled chocolate bar onto the other side here because it seems to fit nicely. And now I'm going to stick this cute little chocolate sweetie on the other side of her head and this looks just like a little hair bow so that's really sweet. Next up I am sticking this cute looking little ice cream, strawberry chocolate ice cream lolly on the side of her head. Ooh, I'm just pulling off my strands of glue and now I'm going to add this little chocolate chip cookie to her tummy. Oh, I've got another thread of glue, never ending thread. Oh, come on! <gasps> Oh, look, it looks like I have a spider web of glue. Now I've got this ice cream chocolate cone. I'm going to stick that onto her shoulder up here. And then let's see if we've got one more thing to add. This little chocolate donut would look really cute on the side of her leg, I think. There we go. And I think she's about done. So let's have a look. Here she is. I'm thinking she's about finished. What do you guys think? I love her little face. I think her little features with that light brown, the dark brown dripping sauce and all of her little drips down the side of her head. They look so cool and I love all the little embellishments as well. So we've got our little strawberry lolly, our chocolate biscuit, our chocolate bar, our little dipping strawberry, we've got our sweetie and our little ice cream, chocolate biscuit and donut. Mm, which would be your guys favourite to eat? I can't choose. I'm really pleased with her guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. So guys, I just want to say a quick shout out, a quick hello to Lisa and also to Zara and also to Hannah. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments guys. Keep them coming. I love reading your comments. I always try to reply and I will remember all of the suggestions you guys have made for me. I'll try to get to work on those as soon as I can. But for now, I'm going to have to say bye-bye. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching my chocolate baby. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so because it really helps my channel. See you later guys. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, it'll notify you as soon as I release a new video. Well guys, I'm sending you loads of love for now and I'll see you all really soon. Lots of love guys. Bye bye.